Let's talk about poop. Did you know there's classifications for poop? It's called the Bristol stool chart. I want you to memorize this. How are you feeling? I've got type one. Poop. Separate hard lumps. Blop, 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 little rabbit droppings, right? It most likely means the, the what's left over from what your body doesn't need is moving slowly through the intestines. More and more water gets absorbed. Then we've got all the way down to type seven, which is that liquid consistency, no solid pieces. That means it has gone like whoosh right on through, and we've really absorbed hardly anything. And that's why they were talking about the lower weight individual that when they changed their diet, colitis disappeared, they were able to gain weight because they were just basically shushing things through and they weren't able to absorb the nutrients. So this is an inter <laughs> did I need to show this to you? No, but it amuses me. So I just because <laughs> poop happens, right? But what's interesting, when we look at the problem and we talk about the gut microbiome, it, it, it does involve bacteria, and they're not all bad. There are certain types, there are certain strains. I need them there because they are part of my defense. They really are part of it. We're not all bad. So we've got these bacteria flora. And what happens, especially when we eat something high in fiber, what's going to happen is we have two types of fiber, soluble and insoluble. All right? Soluble means the body has a chance to break it down and turn it into carbohydrates that can be used. That's why your net carbs can be a trap. Because if it's soluble fiber, you will turn it into sugar and you will, it's going to impact your insulin. If it's insoluble, the body's like, why would you give that to me? I can't do anything with that. I know, just get it out of here, get it out. So the fiber is not necessarily for, free, for human life. Who started that, that horrible theory? Probably the cereal companies, I don't know, just saying. I don't know. Do lions eat fiber? No. I don't think they're constipated either. Let's go back to the stool chart. No, we won't. All right. <laughs> These insoluble fibers are of no good to us, and they must be removed, OK? It's an intricate fermentation process when we eat a lot of fiber. The body is trying to act like a ruminant. And when you hear the sod father talk, Dr. Peter Ballerstadt talk, they have what, 28 stomachs? No, they don't have 28. But ruminants, the cows, they have six, seven stomachs. They have a lot of stomachs in it, and it ferments. It can use the grass. We have one stomach, right, Peter? I think we have one stomach. That's what I heard. Anyway, so what happens is we don't have time to really ferment. It keeps fermenting. It produces gas bubbles. Okay, and you end up with more farts, all right? So anyway, many carnivores report they're not full of hot air. 